y'all it's diane with shell craft one and my old barn door and barn door treasures on ebay and digital diane designs for digitals on etsy and um last week i had a really good response to the kits i put in the shop and a lot of people said they didn't get one so i made some more so that you guys can get one if you weren't able to get one and hey if you were able to get one and you want another one that's fine too no problem so i was just going to show you real quick these kits are a little bit different they're very similar to the last ones from last week but they are or maybe it was this week when i released them i can't remember y'all get lost in my days working from home all the time so it might have been this week when i released <laughs> maybe it was saturday i can't remember but anyways so i just thought i would do a quick video and go through these and show you what i've put in them um and we'll just do it real quick so that it doesn't take a long time. So, um, let me get some open. Okay, so again, we have the little envelope full of stamps. And I'm not going to take them out um, just for time's sake on the video. But we have the envelope full of stamps. We have the 12 cards. So, you get... Um, these have um, a couple of more random cards in them than the ones from last week because I ran out of some of them. So I'll put you some different cards in them. But I'm not going to take it apart because I already have the little band on it. Um, we have the coin envelope, but this one's open top. And of course you have 10 of the Welltail tabs in these. We have the little glassine bag or sack. And it has the little, um, these have the circles, more of the circles on them, and then a, several of the flowers on them. And then inside, instead of doing the vintage ribbons, I did some vintage paper goodies. So these are um, vintage stamp, um, postal stamps from 1936 and so they uh, i thought these would be cool to add in here and then you have a little tiny tag for keys um this is a tiny just a manila tag you have this is from the early um 1900s possibly even the late 1800s it's a british little british poem book um and then you have one of these vintage um notepads this is really old and hopefully you can see the patina on it and then i put a little um card catalog card in there for you i think i said that right <laughs> okay so that's what's in the little glassine sack then you have the gray seed envelope with the window that has um the four scripture cards in there okay then there's the tan seed envelope that has um, the six guest checks in there, and two of them have florals, and then the other four are in different colors. And these can be made into tags or journaling cards or decorated, however you want. Now, on these seed packs, I didn't have enough of the altered paper clips to put in these kits, so I'll put some extra goodies in here for you to kind of make up for the missing altered paper clips. You get the little notebook um, and the little um, uh, cross-stitch card with washi tape on it. These only have one strip of washi tape on them um, because I guess the washi tape got low, but um, again, I made up with some different things in, in the kit. Okay, you have the four envelopes. So there's, and these were all handmade by Debbie. This one has a couple of little pieces in it from a cute little book that's called, um, it's just kind of um, phrases that you um, heard when you were coming up through your childhood. Uh, but those are the four envelopes. Then you have the little sack, and I put an extra time card in here since I was missing a couple of other things. Um, so you have this little music um, card that would be fun to make a tag or alter it however you want to. The little stationary piece, an inventory tag in here, sweet little lined stationary piece here. This one's been shrunk down. And then we have, of course, the three time cards for you to alter. And they come all in this sweet little sack. Okay. Then you have, I put this sack in, and this is your extra goodies to make up for some of the things that were missing. So you get the sack. 
And then inside the sack, every sack is going to be different. The items in every sack is going to be different. But I just put some little pieces for you to play with in here. They all have the same amount of pieces, um, but they're different pieces. So um, you get lots of little goodies in here to play with. These are fussy cuts, and so are these, and so are these. So you get lots of little goodies um, to kind of make up for the things that I was missing. Actually, you're getting more in this kit <laughs> than you did the last one. So um, then you have, of course, the greeting card. And this one is a sympathy one, but you can always cover up the word, you know, or the words with something pretty. You can collage on it and even on the inside. And then, of course, you have the envelope. Um, you have the napkin for decoupaging. And then this um, piece of stationery, I didn't have enough napkins to go with all of the pieces, so I put an extra nap, um, not napkin, envelope. <laughs> so I put an extra envelope in there, and you can use your napkin to um, collage on that one as well. So you have those pieces. And then I had um, uh, some lined book pages that I ran out of, and so instead of giving you those, I gave you some of my stationery stash. Y'all know I'm having a session with stationery. So some is new. These are new. This one's vintage. Um, and I thought it would be cute since Easter's coming. Um, and I think all of these, the rest of them, are new. But it gives you some pretty little pieces to play with, you know, in your journal. Then you get, of course, two of the strips. Um, the border strips for belly bands, pockets, um, or just decoration. You can use them as page tabs, whatever you want to use them for. So you get two of those. Then you get um, the same kinds of book pages. You get the little French book page, um, the vintage dictionary page. This is a French, um, I think it was like, a, I don't know if it was a devotional or what, but then you get the um, 1800s. Um, this one was from, this page came out of a book that's from like 1832 or 1836, something like that. So it's very, very old. This one's from the late 1800s. You get a hymnal page. And then this one from the 50s that's um, like, I don't know, it's got Bible stuff in it. Then you get one of the postal zip code pages. One of the Scribner music book pages from the early 1900s. And then this one's an extra one that I've thrown in. Um, and it was from a, good, a book called Thinking of You. And it just had such pretty image, images of florals. And there's cute little poems in there too. Some of them don't make sense. But anyway, you get one of those. And it's a good thick page. This would be super fun to emboss. And then again, you get this book page, um, again, from that book that I love that's got the pinks and the blues and the colors from like the 60s and 70s. So you get those. And then you get a stack of pages to make your journal with. Now, these pages were not printed by Debbie. These were gifted to me from a friend. And um, they've just been sitting in a folder, and I haven't used them, and I thought this would be the perfect way to use them. And then, again, I went in. Excuse me. Sorry, got a frog in my throat. I went in and printed um, some of my my digitals on the backs of the pages. So you have that one. And then there's this one. And a ledger on the back. Ledger on the back of that one. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. I'm just trying not to make the video too long. And again, all of these pages are different. Um, all of the things that I printed on the backs of them, I tried to give you... A good variety and make those different so um, these will make fun journals for spring I love all the florals and the butterflies and um, I fell in love with this one I don't know where it came from I, but it's super cute and then you get this one um, and again all of these pages will be different in every kit um, and then I gave you some some cut aparts so um, these were also gifted to me from that uh, from Debbie I believe I'm getting them mixed up now so y'all bear with me these are some of my cut outs from uh, my fussy cut kit these you get a couple of tags and some strips to make pretty pockets or whatever and then you get several pieces of these these are um, scriptures and like positive encouraging things so 
um, I think all the kits have one of these. Again, these will be different in each kit too, but you get the same amount. And then a cut apart sheet that I had from my other friend. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry I have a frog in my throat this morning. <laughs> so those are all of the um, goodies in the kit. And I have nine more kits to go in the shop since those sold out so fast. Um, I went ahead and put nine more kits in. So run over and grab the one that you love. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below or you can send me a message on Etsy. Um, but anyways, I hope you run over and grab a kit if you wanted one and didn't get to grab one the last time. So um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.